Hello folks and welcome to DCS World. We are flying in the Apache in the HP Reverb G2 with full OpenXR native support. And the result, well, it's very, very nice indeed. In fact, it's the same as if you'd messed around and used Open Composite, but I'm glad to say you don't need to do that anymore. All you need to do actually is to change a particular command in your DCS EXE file. And I'll show you that on the screen now. That is all you need to do. So what it means is, is that when you click your DCS world icon from now on, you're just going to jump straight into VR. That is fantastic. And it's a little thing like that, that definitely helps performance. And it feels fantastic. It really does. And I'm sorry I haven't really shown much DCS world recently. It's only because there's so much going on in the world of flight simulation and particularly MSFS which is the main bulk of viewers on the channel you know DCS kind of falls to the wayside a bit but I don't want that to be a thing and I will try and show more DCS world off in the future but uh, I am struggling just because this is like a full time job doing this at the moment it feels like it but anyway it's great to be flying in the Apache again and uh, Please do let me know in the comments, have you tried this new OpenXR native command line? And if you haven't, well, I would definitely recommend it, especially for Reverb G2 fans. And I'm going to try that with the Pimax next, but I think you might still have to use the Pimax XR switcher, which isn't too much of a pain in the arse, to be fair, because it's just an app that you can just change uh, very easily before jumping into DCS. But yeah, this sim is looking very nice, I have to say. And I hope that in 2023, it's going to gain traction. I would like to see better UI changes so that things are easier. For instance, spawning at airports would be nice instead of like having to create a mission. I'd also like to see uh, better binding support. For instance, simple things like aileron, rudder, toe brakes all those kind of things I wish they would just bind automatically depending on what aircraft you have because I do find that DCS is a bit of a pig when it comes to setting everything up it takes forever to do that and if you kind of like you know reinstall it again or whatever you have to do all that again oh look at that they've actually now exploded <laughs> but yeah this is feeling really nice well, as the dog is trying to uh, attack my left arm. <laughs> That's the thing when you had dogs. I don't like it when you're in VR. I am going to try and land now. I'm going to pretend that's my house. Oh, God, honestly, I am so rubbish at flying helicopters. Concentration now. I think I'm a, a little bit too close to the, my little house here. <laughs> no, we're still going down there. We're still going down. Oh no, no wrong. Oh bugger. No, that was that was yeah. Um, any landing you can walk away from? Maybe not. I definitely need more practice. <laughs> See you soon, folks. Can I eject? Maybe I'll just go and leave this here. Oh no, there's a... Do you mind? Oh god, we're not gonna get... We're gonna get run over. <laughs> right, I really need to leave. This is bad. Tell you what though, those leaves, they look very realistic. 